Well, what's going on guys? Well, I figured I'd start making gaming videos and I figured what better way to start off with Destiny. Now, this week uh, I decided to do the uh, Challenge Elders uh, solo. So, uh, I'm setting up my class here as a blade dancer with the Hungering Blade. Uh, just so, because uh, the bonus is super kills. So you want to try and get as many super kills as possible, and the best way to do that is with a blade dancer. Uh, so the first boss is this servitor of great proportions. Um, and I will be front with you right now, I did edit this video because uh, it did take me a few tries to actually get this done but mostly what you're trying to do is get your precision kills and have your super boosting buffs on for an example uh, uh, I have an artifact that allows me to get uh, extra super based upon uh, how much I have uh, how many heavy kills I have with my heavy weapon uh, so that helps out just a little bit there as well as my uh, gauntlets that allow me to get more super energy from doing melee damage so this is gonna be my uh, exclusive front through prison of elders now I've been playing destiny since year one and uh, quite frankly I have soloed quite a few things actually you might have seen my solo video of uh, Crota's boss uh, with the year two gear using the uh, raised lighter and uh, the blade dancer class with shadow jack and the crouch to cloak with blink strike and all that and you may have noticed in the beginning that I use the hungering blade to acquire my health back because of Crota's presence um, but yeah I mean other than that uh, you can clearly see that the game is mostly based on tactics um, rendering is score wise in the prison of elders now idealistically you're supposed to do this with two other people uh, I don't really see the difference really I mean I just decided to see if I could solo it and uh, at the end of the video you'll see I'll have like 27,000 points so I'm gonna continue to try and solo this and uh, see if I can actually get the 30,000 points uh, for the challenge on my own and see if it's actually possible because I am curious um, but other than that, this was definitely a pain in the ass. So that's that's how I feel about that. Especially with the 50,000 shanks that come out the woodwork like it is right now. Alright, so as you can see, I'm still on the first boss. Uh, like I said, I have edited this video in, uh, in certain points. So, and you can see I've finally done quite a deal of damage to the boss himself. Uh, trusty Black Spindle for that. The only problem is, is heavy ammo dropping and special ammo dropping is not that fond in Destiny. It's never really been that way. Uh, idealistically, I probably should have killed the boss with a super, but I was pressed for time, and I just wanted to try and get this done. So moving on to the next boss, which is this great big Minotaur uh, from the Vex. And uh, same principle, you know, using Blade Dancer, Hungering Blade, so that you don't get killed when you go into a swarm of enemies. Because uh, every kill, that allows you to regenerate your health uh, until you get hit by enemy fire again or anything like that. Um, even uh, if you use the Hungering Blade and kill somebody and you throw a grenade down to the ground, uh, it will stop the the um, potential perks of the Hungering Blade as well, so make sure you don't take any damage after using the Hungering Blade. As you can see, it's quite effective using the Super, uh, just doing Link through those enemies. And I just collected 2,000 to 10 points from killing 8 enemies, so definitely want to try and get those Supers in there and use those buffs to get your Super Energy back. So moving quite along, I'm already down past halfway with the boss right now. I actually managed to do this one in one file try. Uh, 
So the only reason why I'm editing is because I don't want to be sitting here for 25 minutes waiting for me to kill the boss, and especially I don't want to make my viewers have to watch all of that too. Um, that little golden bluish glowing light that he just did too is a, it's like a containment field if he sees you and he shoots out this energy ray or whatever and uh, you get stuck in containment kind of like the vault of glass scenario where um, three guys get teleported to a different planet and you have to get the relic and the other three guys are outside and they're in that containment shield yeah same thing uh, if anybody has ever played the vault of glass which I'm praying to God that somebody has that watches this video all right, so dropping the boss right here, and we're gonna be moving on to the third, finally. As you can see, the score is quite different from the first boss because the points, uh, the further you go into the rounds of the Prison of Elders, the more points you acquire in the challenge. Now, this is the one that I had quite the difficulty with, uh, equipped it with raised lighter, and, uh, Basically what this boss is, he has three different shields. He has the void, the arc, and the solar. And there's these three flares that spawn. At random, he will choose one of these flares. And basically what you have to do is you have to kill that flare in order for him to deplete his shield. And then he chooses one of the two that are left and then the final one and etc. So basically you gotta kill these three flares before you can freely do damage to the boss. Now my tactic that I found out that worked the best with this uh, for doing this by yourself was uh, pretty much just dwindling out the first wave of enemies to the best of your ability and pretty much getting everything but the boss and the flares and then whatever his shield is for an example void that would be my first target because he's in the void realm right now. Uh, so you take out the void flare and then whatever other flares just don't do any DPS to the boss just straight up just kill all the enemies around you and try and get your super kills in there and uh, that's pretty much it so then once you kill all three flares then just DPS the boss and then he'll get to a certain amount and then another wave of enemies will come and then he'll get to a certain amount and another wave of enemies will come and so forth and so forth and then uh, you'll be good to go so that's pretty much how that goes this on a, this boss right here it took me like a half an hour it was unreal it was straight stupid and it I died like 50,000 times it felt like you know, even though it was only like four times but still it sucked and the best way to take out those flares is to basically train them to you so for an example the boss is all the way down there and say one of the flares was down next to him uh, well obviously you can't charge up next to the boss and fucking just use your raise lighter because the boss will just quake your ass and that'll be it and you gotta start all over again so the best way to do it is I kind of brought the boss up to this section and what I did is I just kind of like dipped over to either the middle or the beginning of where you come through the door and uh, I would shoot a couple rounds off and the flares would actually make it there before the boss did so you can just use your raise lighter or uh, your bolt caster and uh, just melt those flares real quick with your heavy before the boss gets there and then you're free to do whatever you need to do so here I was debating on whether or not I wanted to super him to death or not and I just didn't feel like fucking waiting so I just kinda threw a grenade at him because that's how I felt about this after trying it five times and uh, that was that so as you can see it's like 27,245 points and that's with uh, point disadvantages from taking too long uh, but like I said I'm still gonna try and see if it's possible but uh, to get the 30,000 points but it is possible to solo so that's that and uh, other than that rate comment subscribe and I will be uploading more videos to come so I'll talk to you guys later and uh, enjoy the rest of your night